Hi, Dr. Jared here, and you may wonder why my post is red today. Well, actually, this last weekend, uh, I'm Lutheran at my church. We uh, celebrated Reformation Day, and I always try to take something back to, to my life or to my office from church and what I learned. And when we talk about Reformation Day, it was the day that Luther posted his 95 Thesis on the Castle Church door in Germany and started the Lutheran religion and the Protestant religions that uh, have followed. Uh, because he didn't agree with the way the church was going and he wanted to bring up change and at church our pastor pastor susan i love her uh, she said that if we don't change we won't exist in the future and this is just like bob Iger's innovate or die and if we, you look at what dentistry is doing i, I kind of talked to dr will wagner i met him at a tailgate and he said if there's one thing I want to give you as advice as a dentist is that, you know, laws of thermodynamics, you can't win, you always lose and everything tends to chaos. And things are always changing. Things are always going to be challenging and change. And we have to change too to adapt to them. And one of the things that I think that's really awesome that I've adapted is from my education at UNLV is vital pulp therapy and bioceramics and not doing a root canal when you have a vital tooth and you can do a direct pulp cap or pulpotomy with mta uh, it's just so awesome we don't get paid for that by insurance but we need to change that there's tons of things that we used to do that we don't do but we need to constantly work to change and get better and better our profession for our patients so that's one takeaway uh, i would love to see you all in chicago uh, at my next e course if you want to come learn how to do that pulp therapy, it's, it's very successful. Uh, Dr. Lemon just sent me a nine-year recall on, on one of the patients that I treated, and uh, it's just exciting to see, see things work out, see kids happy, avoid root canal therapy, and have awesome outcomes.